a writer is like God because a writer can kill a character. Later, I think I'll bring the character back to it's life. True. He's mm -hmm. back to life. He kills, he revives. I don't like this century. I'll let the story take place in the future, in the, in the past, <laughs> in another planet. I mean, well, you're a writer. You, you remember you said to me the other day, how come I'm drunk with power? I did it's say because that, because yes. I can write anything. <laughs> Hey, Roger! <laughs> Great to see you. Have that for <laughs> that enthusiasm blew me off That'll the chair. Give you an idea like, how glad I am to see you, yeah. Jenna. Say hello to Roger Cross. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure I mean, to meet you. This is the guy who was in Twenty Four, one of the oh, top shows of all. What did that feel like to be in such a hit show? It was amazing. I tell you, sometimes I, I really, literally, especially in season four and five, got the script, read the material, and was like. Ooh, I get to do that. <laughs> like, it was a, it was great. It was a blast. I, it must have been. Cheers to 24. Kind of hair. Yeah, oh, here's all right. Here's, cheers. Ooh. All right, now that we covered that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, speaking of shows, you're also doing Arrow, so we yes. need to have a little DC versus Marvel thing uh -oh. here. Oh. Let's, let's maybe talk <laughs> Green Arrow versus Hawkeye. Oh, see, I'm not even going to touch that with I, a thousand foot I stopped foot to take one sip of a drink <laughs> and we're on a whole new Marvel a riot. Break. What is, what's this about Hawkeye? <laughs> what, what did you say? Well, he's doing a show called Arrow. Yeah. Which is DC. Wait a minute. I thought we <clears> were on, you mean besides Continuum, you're doing DC something? I am. You must be the busiest actor <laughs> in America. <laughs> wow, I that's my great. best. I Tell us about best. it. Tell us about Arrow. Arrow is basically on the comic book, Green Arrow. Uh -huh. and, so um, why don't they call it Green Arrow? Well, because, well, there's actually the Green and Black Arrow, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because they didn't do that well with Green Lantern, and they figured, let's stay they away from the, the color green. green. The color green. Yeah, that's they, true. Lucky. Maybe that's right. what it is. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. You're, you're Arrow. Are you Arrow? I'm not Arrow. There's... I want you to be Arrow. Well, thank you. I Jade, should well, who do I talk to? <laughs> I talk to everyone. I, I want to be Black Panther. That's what I oh, want to be. Oh, you'd be yeah. great. Ah, uh, see, that's one. And, that and I be... think they're going to start developing it. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. you I know, keep telling them that's the, next, that's the next one they've got to do. You remind me. Honestly, I will. I, I think that would be fantastic. Yeah, I think I you'd be great, character. and they'd be grateful to me, and maybe I'd get a cameo. I I have a feeling you will get a cameo. <laughs> Although I got I got to tell you, I don't know why I'm being so nice to you. You've done 24, uh -huh. you've done Continuum, you're doing Arrow. Have you heard him mention anything about a cameo for me in I any of not. those? Have, I, I haven't have heard, not. I, I haven't know. heard the word come out in this conversation. Huh. You know what, it just, it, it was just percolating. I was like, I have an epiphany. Okay, Stan needs to do a cameo in each and every one of my shows. Can you imagine how the ratings would increase if the public <laughs> Stan is going to be in continuum? They drop would. everything. <laughs> you know what? It really would. Of course. It would. Of I think course. It would. Hey, not, not a doubt about it. You so, did one in Eureka, and that's she right. Was in Eureka. There you go. I, I so, <laughs> what we'll do is cut this interview short right now, and I want you to run out and make a few phone calls. Okay. Because time is of the essence. I'm gonna do that And right we'll now. come back and continue this. He's gonna trade you Black Panther for cameos. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now tell me more, tell me more about Arrow. Arrow, Arrow, um, this wonderful actor, Stephen Amell, who is, yeah, you talk about a guy that's in incredible condition and just yoked out and athletic and yeah I can relate freaky. to that yes I know you can see I've seen it <laughs> working out hey you but, hurt me <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he plays the arrow and if you know people are familiar with the story they'll know he gets shipwrecked and he's on an island for five years and a lot of things happen there and he you know he starts off basically the playboy philanthropist and uh, I, I, we have a character a little bit. Just like a little that. bit like yeah. that. I know. Call me a little I, more. Yeah. Call our lawyer. Uh, call, I, what's the lawyer's phone number? I must say they have stolen a little bit, I think. But <laughs> it's, it's, you know, uh, it's a form of flattery that they've something that was so great that they've stolen well, elements of. I guess, I guess there's, there's more than one Playboy philanthropist in the world. One or two. All right. Himself. But yeah, you, you can, we like, can live with that. You can live with it? Robert Downey I'm may not want it. to live with it, oh. but I can live with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so tell us about who you play. You know, I am play. I play the character called Detective Hilton, and you're I, always a good guy. 
Well, sometimes. You'd make a good villain. I'd I make do. you the bad guy. See? Yeah, because well, you look that. scary. I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see how scared of me he is? <laughs> <laughs> He's like... I learned, hey, I'm a teacher, Trent, because oh. someday you'll have your own interview show. Okay. Never say the obvious. Oh. Always say the last thing anybody would expect. It might be idiotic, but at least it'll but at least, them. That's true, and it'll make it interesting. <laughs> there in you go. Okay, back to whatever back to, we were talking oh, about. Detective Hilton. Well, Detective Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> He's partner with uh, Detective Lance, the character that is um, the father of the Arrow's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And he, in, ooh, how much can I say? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> he basically tries to keep his partner on the straight and narrow, but his partner is kind of upset because of something that Arrow has done. And so he doesn't like this character, but he doesn't know he's the Arrow. No, but he doesn't like the, I see. the philanthropist, Oliver Queen. He yeah. doesn't like him. And so, and later on, there's a great transformation. And those who are fans of the comic will know what happens to Hilton. He becomes this character. A bad guy. Called, yeah, he becomes, he becomes a villain. A super villain, I'll bet you. Uh, there you go. He, <laughs> are they see, both but, arrow guys? They both shoot bows and arrows? Or does uh, Hilton do different stuff? He does different stuff. But right. we're not going to get there quite yet. They yeah. said They said for, uh, for, for a while he's just It sounds be. very dull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. No I'm action kidding. whatsoever. Only no, kidding. Not at all. Not at all. Well, speaking of Playboy philanthropists, I, philanthropists, I can't say that word today. Philanthropists. Philanthropists. Um, speaking of them, I hear that you have been to the Playboy Mansion a number of times. I know you're friends with Hugh Hefner. <laughs> How do we get me there? How do we get you there? When do you want to go? Anytime. All right, we're going next week. All right. Most guys want to go. Yeah, why well, do no, go? But why do girls want to go? They always want to go. They always want to see it. We really? want to see it. Well, you, first of all, you're too overdressed. That's a very good point. Yeah. I don't know what the hell you're wearing, but you're too overdressed. Whatever it is, you're overdressed. I, I have to make a, I have to make a little confession uh, about Playboy Mansion. So um, I'd been several times, and my wonderful lady Josie wanted to go to the Playboy Mansion, much like you said. And so there was this charity fundraiser there for Susan G. Coleman Foundation. I thought, okay, I'll bring her to that. It won't be too crazy, anything like that. It'll be it'll be nice. She gets there, and they had the California Businessmen Association sponsoring it, and they had stripperpole.com there and so they had not only was it just regular playmates up they had strippers on poles all over the place how and surprising so <laughs> oh i am I so thought. surprised i thought it was going to be a more wholesome event i didn't expect <laughs> to think <laughs> to think that you hefner would do that oh <laughs> God. wow so yeah there there's you know so but she and she loved it and women so she said she said Grab me a pole. <laughs> I said, honey, we need some money. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> that must be a good workout, I'm just saying. Have you been taking the classes? I huh? have not yet. But you're going to? Yes. Ooh. Absolutely. She's going to make a man very happy. Well, you know, we'll have a little discussion about this after, uh -oh. after this Am I in incredibly now? wonderful interview <laughs> later on. And <laughs> Tomorrow there'll be a poll in the office. No. Uh, okay, no. you know? okay. <laughs> hey, that would be a great idea for an office, you know, a poll. You know, and when girls come in and they want, they're applying for a job, uh, we don't care how fast they type. We don't care how. How are we on the poll? <laughs> There's the poll, we'll let you know. As he said, say what they don't expect and what exactly. they don't want. Exactly. <laughs> Who started this? I, I, I think of... it was my fault. Oh, it was your we, fault. Yes, you brought I up totally want to go. And Playboy. The thing that's worrying <laughs> me, this started out as a family show. Uh, I don't know where it's going, but <laughs> I know. Put the kids to sleep. Yeah, no, don't, don't let your children yeah, watch and shut off the whatever and. Uh, <laughs> Well, I want to talk about all the genre shows you've done, all the sci-fi. I was sci -fi. having fun with the poll. Oh, do you want to go back to the strippers? No, that's not Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, there's so, you do so many genre shows. Yeah. Are you into genre stuff? Are you into sci-fi and fantasy? I am. I really, I've always enjoyed it. I've always thought it's just a great world. You just so many, sometimes the real world can be kind of grim and, you know, kind of depressing and sad. It can be wonderful, of course, but what's great about that is it, it shows what things could be, kind of thing, you know, things bigger than yourself. And you know, in the sci-fi world, for example, you can forget about 
racism, for example, and because you're more worried about these aliens trying to kill you than somebody, you know, someone else, someone has tentacles coming out of them instead of the color of their skin, kind of thing. You know what I mean? And all these different things that. Um, I never thought you would be that kind of guy. <laughs> all of a sudden, just because some poor guy has tentacles. Uh, see, that's what I mean. <laughs> you're a racist, <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> See, hey, you I with the tentacles, you might again. as well leave. These are going to give you a hard time. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You got to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll, we'll forget that tentacles. Bit. Okay, you're right. right, right. Be, oh, anti tentacle society. I'm beginning to think this isn't the most serious interview show that you'll find on the air or no. on the internet Wait. or anywhere, but. At least we try. We're doing our best to be real people. We don't want to kid you. We're not trying to put on some act. You see the real whatever the hell his name is. You see him real, you know? And the same way, this is what you see is what you get, damn it. So either stay with it or don't bother us. That's the way you talk. I like that. And that, they're hard. gonna like it too because it's real, you know? Ooh, okay. That was very forceful. So now we've gone through strippers, Sci-fi and tentacles. And tentacles. And, and domination. And domination. Tentacles. Oh, oh my. Did I go there? Oh. <laughs> domination. Wait a minute. Now we're back again <laughs> to the <laughs> pole. We're back to the area. Uh -huh. I don't know which is more interesting, tentacles or domination. Tentacles sounds <laughs> like a, a naughty word, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's, let's, let's clean up the sack. I love it. <laughs> we were talking about, what the hell were we talking We were talking about, about sci-fi and genre. Sci-fi. So yeah. tell us what you know about sci-fi in two or three words. <laughs> Don't bore the hell out of us. All is possible. Ooh. Yeah. I was going to say no one ever dies. Oh, but you don't, you can't, oh, we well, they people. die, they just we can come people. back. We kill people. But they can they come back. People. Well, that's the thing, a writer, mm -hmm. a writer is like God, because a writer can kill a character, later, I think I'll bring the character back to it's life. True. He's mm -hmm. back to life. He kills, he revives. I don't like this century. I'll let the story take place in the future, in the, in the past, <laughs> in another planet. I mean, well, you're a writer. You, you remember you said to me the other day, how come I'm drunk with power? I did it's say that, It's because yes. I can write anything. <laughs> you know, and when you're a writer, you begin to take yourself seriously. I can do anything. I can write him out of the script. You know, you may be bigger and stronger than me. I can write you the hell out of the script. That's true. Damn right, so you better be oh, nice to man. me. Oh, man, all right, all right. What script are we talking about? Black Panther. <laughs> yes. You Wait, He's not in it yet. Not I can't yet. Wait. All right. We'll, we'll be. be. Oh, we're, absolutely, we're, we'll know. be. But I want to know about the X Men. Somebody told me you were also in an X Men movie. I did. But you weren't an X Men. I wasn't an X Men. Well, what the hell were you? I was. I see. I was filming this movie called X vs. Sever, in Vancouver at the time. And um, Chris, who's also friends with Brian Singer at the time, said, "Oh, why don't you come over? We're doing X Men right now. Come do a thing on it." So I was actually the president's bodyguard. And I was, you know, oh. through the thing. Being Did you caught him? Did he? Was he safe? He didn't do. I didn't do very well. Oh. He got killed. This, this little blue character. Dude, everything about you represents <laughs> failure. Every, first, you talk about these tentacles. <laughs> then you talk about prejudice. You, you're prejudiced. Uh -huh. Now you kill presidents. <laughs> What's with you? Can't you do anything right? Well, I did. I killed a lot of people. Well, were they good people or bad people? Oh, depends who you talk to. Right. Some are good, some are bad. I'm just saying. What do you mean? Who, who arranges crying, our, crying. our guest list I'm for crying. these interviews? Who it's makes up me. the guest list? No, I'm yeah, we got to find out who it is, and we got to be a little more particular. <laughs> I love this man. All right, so. Right, so X Men. So who would you have wanted to play? In X Men. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh. There's so many different things. You know, you know what? I've always, I, I was, I was a fan of Beast. Ooh. I was a fan of Beast. I think. I, I like the Beast. I like the oh, Beast. Oh man. Awesome. Yes. No, no. I admire your taste. Yeah, cause he's like, you know. He's also better looking than you. He is. He's a handsome. <laughs> guy. See, and he's blue. He's blue. It's, that proves I'm not racist, right? Uh, there. That's right. I'm I like, like the You beat me to it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I stole his line. Oh shoot. Oh. Go back. On the teleprompter. No, okay, no, okay. no, I love Beast because he reads. Yes. See, there you go. He's intellectual, yet he's yes. physical and all that. I love See, I, I, when I first did him, 
I wanted to go against type. He was the one who looked like a beast, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to make him the smartest one, yeah. you know? Just like you look smart, but you're not. You always go <laughs> against, you always go against type. <laughs> This is where I come for lessons in humility, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I come here for lessons. I love you know, I always say that because I love you. Oh, I know. In a manly way. In a manly way. <laughs> of course, there's no stripper poles involved here. No. Oh, <laughs> no. boy. I, I can, I can work. No, I mean, I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, well, so you, I mean, you've done so, so many different shows. Is this all just, I mean, you're in Vancouver. Yeah. And you're from Vancouver, right? I'm from, yes. Okay. I'm not from Vancouver. I'm oh. originally from Jamaica. Well, yeah, no. And when I was 11. Yeah. Why don't you Vancouver. sound Jamaican? Well, I can sound Jamaican anytime I want to know. You sound Jamaican, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> pretty damn good. <laughs> pretty <laughs> damn good. He's an actor. But but, British when we were in Jamaica. Oh. It got, it really, because you had to speak proper English at all times in school. And so, you, actually, first when I first moved, people said, you sound kind of proper. And I'm like, is that bad? <laughs> no, no. Do all Jamaicans have deep voices? Yes, it just comes in the, the culture. No. <laughs> no, but everyone I know is a deep really? voice, somewhat like you. Oh. Yeah. And it gives it that flavor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just a thought. You have different. a flavor. I have a flavor. I like it. <laughs> it's the rum. <laughs> On that note, we have to wrap, but thank you so much for being here with us. I know. Do you want five more insults? I can. I could. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ready for them. Okay. <laughs> You're one of our best guests. You got to come back again, but not too soon. Oh, okay, not too <laughs> soon. Let's let's some, we have time. All right, let's some other stuff. No, really. On. Thanks so much. For Thank you for having me. And my lots pleasure. of luck with your career. Although I don't think you need it. I think you're doing great. Well, just remember, I'm available for cameo and anything you do. If you, I swear, if you want to do it, it will happen. Let it happen, and we'll see about the Black Panther. The more cameos, the closer. Well, ah, I like it. I, <laughs> cheers to that. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers, thank you. And I'll cheers. forget the tentacles. Oh, Kara, thank you. <laughs>